the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, none other than Her Excellency, Samia Suluhu Hassan. Let me begin my remarks by thanking my brother, President Paul Kagame, for the warm welcome and hospitality accorded to me and my delegation since our arrival in this beautiful city of Kigali. We felt home and of course, Rwanda is our second home. <clears throat> I'm also delighted to meet my friends, Arnold, Julia, Manfredi, Peter Greenberg, and the wife, Handy. Welcome to Kigali, welcome to Africa. The choice of Africa, and in particular Kigali, as a venue for this important event was deliberate because Africa and tourism are inseparable. And so, it is in order for those in tourism ecosystem to meet in Africa and discuss the future of tourism. I also wish to thank and commend Ms. Julia Simpson and her team for the job well done and for putting all the necessary arrangements for this summit together. Thank you for your time and dedication. <clears throat> Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it is a fact that Africa is endowed with rich and abundant natural and cultural touristic attractions. To give my own uh, country as an example, Tanzania has 21 national parks, including the Serengeti and Gorongoro Crater, more than 40 game-controlled and game-reserved areas, more than 400 forest reserves, and over 120 tribes with diverse cultures. Above all, we have beautiful Zanzibar Islands. <clears throat> this is just one country out of 54 countries of Africa. We have heard about Burundi, we heard about Rwanda, and we'll soon hear from President Kagame what Rwanda has to offer. Tourism contributes considerably in most of African economies. In Tanzania, for example, tourism sector contributes up to 17.2% 17 of our GDP and 25% of our total export earnings. While this is a massive contribution from one single source, it entails that Africa can leverage tourism to drive economic growth and create employment opportunities. Thus, the sector, if well utilized, can be of great use to most of African countries in terms of repositioning the continent in other connected sectors and henceforth attracting more foreign currencies. So in order for a tourism industry to make expected and required strides, there are, however, some serious questions for African governments to ask ourselves and some considerations to undertake. Number one is the strategic branding and marketing. Africa should develop compelling narratives and a brand identity that highlight Africa's unique natural heritage, natural beauty, and diverse experiences. We must invest in targeted marketing campaigns across various platforms to reach the global audience. In my country, for example, we are experiencing a lot of new arrivals following the global watched film, The Royal Tour, produced by CBS editor, Peter Greenberg, whom I'm happy to learn is amongst the WTTC brand ambassadors. Linked to this, Africa should ensure 
wider access to information resources about local customs, traditions, and cultural practices. Africa should tell its own story in its own terms and set a positive narrative about our continent. We cannot afford to continue remaining silent in this era of fake news. We should stand up and put the record straight. Africa is not only the future, it is now. <clears throat> Number two is an issue of conservation and preservation, that Africa is regarded as a guardian of nature because our forefathers played their part in protecting the same. If Africa is to rely on natural attractions, it is imperative that we should prioritize conservation and support efforts to preserve cultural sites, artifacts, and traditions and to ensure they remain accessible for genera generations to come. In Tanzania, <clears throat> we have the motto by our dedicated tourism TV, television, which says, to merithishwa, to arithishwa. Loosely translated, what we inherited, we should also pass it on to the next generation. In view of these distinguished delegates, Africa should continue to prioritize sustainable tourism practices by minimizing the environmental footprint of tourism activities, promoting the conservation of natural resources, and supporting community-based tourism initiatives. We in Africa should emphasize on ecotourism, which promotes responsible travel to natural areas, contributing to conservation efforts, and providing sustainable economic benefits to local communities. My last point for consideration, but not least, is research and data analysis. For tourism sector to continue being relevant, we should endeavor to undertake research and to, on tourism trends, visitors preferences, and environmental impacts. This will allow us to make informed decisions and refine strategies for sustainable growth across the continent. In my view, it is, or this is an area where the WTTC and other partners can also come in, linked to this is enhancing the capacity of professionals to understand and respond effectively to the challenges facing the sector. I'm insisting on research and data analysis because some of us identify the sector as tourism sector, and we lose some constitutes of travel. We put them aside. And this may have effect on the calculations of the uh, percentage of contributions to our GDPs and economies. So that's why I'm insisting on research and data analysis. Excellences, distinguished delegates, it will be a miss on my part if I conclude without acknowledging the role of private sector in the tourism ecosystem. We in Tanzania believe that a coordinated and well-regulated private sector is an engine to our economic growth. It is important, therefore, to note that the private sector has a big role to play in our endeavors. I have indicated one example, the film by Peter Greenberg, The Royal Tour, which was fully funded by the private sector of Tanzania. So this is just one example, but the list can be long. So collaboration with government, private sector, and non-profit organization cannot be overemphasized. I will at this juncture end my remarks by inviting the private sector to come and join our efforts in making travel and tourism 
more vibrant in our economies in a win-win relationship. In Tanzania, our doors are wide open. Opportunities are endless. If you keep on waiting, you'll be missing out. I thank you very much.